Today we are going to look again at the PicoCalc handheld computer from Clockwork. To make it easier to see what is happening on the PicoCalc screen, I have connected a USB-C cable to the PicoCalc and my computer. And I am using the software TevaTerm to display this in the window on the left of the screen. So any text typed on or output from the PicoCalc will display in the TevaTerm window. The PicoCalc has an SD card and internal storage also. To access the internal storage we merely have to type the letter A, then a colon and then enter. This means all storage related commands will now be directed to the internal storage. To see what files are on the internal storage we just have to type the word files and press enter. And we can see that there are only two files showing. If we wish to load the basic test.bas file, simply type load, then a double quote and the full name of the file. You don't need to type the closing double quote. Once the file is loaded you can just type list to display the basic program on screen and to run it type run and then enter. Simple numeric calculations can be done by just typing them on the prompt line in standard basic syntax. If we switch to the SD card by typing the letter B then a colon and enter we can view the files on that card. Typing option colour code on will allow the basic code in the edit window to display in colour syntax allowing the code to be more readable. Type edit to go into the edit screen and the current program will be displayed. While in here you can navigate around the text using the cursor keys and amend the code. F1 will save your code changes and F2 runs the application. As we are using TerraTerm for text output none of the graphics that appear on the PicoCalc will appear in TevaTerm. Don't expect applications to run as fast on the PicoCalc as they do on your desktop. To clear out the application in memory you can simply type the command new and typing list will confirm that no applications are now loaded. There is also a memory command that once typed will display details of the program saved variables and RAM usage. Additionally MMBasic does have the capability of both graphics and sound. If we take a simple application and add in the play tone command at the end of the program we can see here we have a for next loop which will print out five numbers and then execute the play tone command. The play tone command takes three parameters. The first two parameters are the frequency in hertz of the sound to go through the left and the right speakers. The final parameter is the number of milliseconds you wish the tone to be played for. We are following this with a pause command for 1000 milliseconds. This is to allow the play tone command to complete before we end this particular application. If we hit the F2 button and run the application now it will display the five numbers and then play the tone. If we hit F2 once more we can see the application is quite consistent displaying numbers and then playing the tone. The ability to play tones from inside your applications allows you all sorts of warning beeps and messages to play to the user. However to finish off today's video we are going to demonstrate the PicoCalc's ability to display full graphics. These are 24 bit graphics in a 320 by 320 image. In our next video we will cover more details of what you can do when programming your PicoCalc. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.